Well, Henry Horton State Park is certainly not something that's hidden in Tennessee, but a lot of people don't realize the Duck River and the wetlands right next to it are extremely important to the area's ecology. The Duck River is extremely unique, um, specifically for its biodiversity. So it is the most biodiverse river in North America, but it's also one of the most biodiverse in the world. Um, and it's one of three hot spots for fish and mussel species, which pretty much means that we have a lot of endemic species that only live in the Duck River. And also it's a threatened area. So we wanna make sure to preserve and protect it. But this river specifically is the longest river within the entire state of Tennessee. And it runs around 280 miles. The different type of organisms that you'll find here is anywhere, all the organisms from plants, animals, specifically mussels, fish, and aquatic snails are what it is really known for. And it might sound strange, but mussels are important to the water you drink. Mussels are very important for filtering water. So what we like to call them and what we teach people that come here for our river programs and education programs is that mussels are filter feeders and river cleaners. So it's kind of a catchy way of remembering that we want to protect these mussels because they help to clean the river. They're indicator species. And so they will let us know what the water quality is like. So we want to have a lot of mussels because we want that water filtered since it is the main water source for many people in Middle Tennessee. And then there are the wetlands in Henry Horton State Park, right next to the river. Wetlands are extremely important for ecosystems. Um, they're one of the most biodiverse ecosystems in the world. Just because of the vast amount of organisms that live here, we have everything from microorganisms like bacteria, plants, small macroinvertebrates, insects, things like that, reptiles, all the way to mammals like deer. So it's very, very diverse. You can almost think of it as a biological supermarket because we have so much going on and so many organisms use that for breeding grounds, for food, uh, just for habitat in general. So they're very, very important for wildlife. If you visit the wetlands section at Henry Horton State Park, you'll likely see a variety of animals from birds to reptiles to mammals, even butterflies and you'll hear the sounds of chirping frogs and crickets. There's a three quarter mile trail that traverses around the wetlands and connects with the other trails. They also offer guided hikes that are posted on their website. Reporting from Henry Horton State Park in Marshall County, I'm Davis Nolan, News 2.